Three, two, one. Okay, everybody, we are live. Wow, a bunch of people here already. Oh my goodness, hi everybody. Say hi as you come in. I'm honored that you guys are here and I know you've all been looking forward to this as much as I have. Uh, so, I have a client that is one of those people that makes you feel really honored to be working with them because their brand of genius is so incredible that it's like, you need my help. I'm so humbled. But what I wanted to do was actually bring this client in for you guys as well. A lot of you already know Olu. He is really building something amazing for creatives and visionaries to really find their, their groove and their flow and really create something out of what is their passion and their vision. And he has been... Oh. Wow, he's been incredible for his people. I watch almost every single one of the times he goes live. It's like, no, I got to be there. I need to be there for this. And so I was there for one a couple of weeks ago. When? How long ago was that, Olu? About three weeks. About three weeks, a month ago, I think. And it was just one of those things that I got three quarters of the way through and I knew I could feel it in my core. The energy within me had changed. I knew I was up leveling and I hadn't even done anything yet. Just absorbing this knowledge and this information and just visualizing myself taking these steps that he was telling me they're so simple. I knew everything was going to change. So of course I did them. Everything changed. <laughs> Again, you guys see me up leveling constantly, like at least once a quarter. You're like, whoa, how did that, where did that come from? So this is that one thing that I have been doing with Olu's guidance, of course. And you know when I get inspiration, I'm like, oh, I have to share it with everybody. But instead of doing it myself, I'm bringing him here for you guys to deliver it to you as well. And one thing that I really, really appreciate about Olu's approach to his coaching is that it's so similar to the way that I approach life and business as well with the different elements. And I like the way that he creates a language and almost a culture around his own take on it all as well. So you're going to learn a bit of his language, uh, how he presents things with the elements, which is really amazing. It really helps ground oh. the theories and turns them less from, you know, philosophical and more to psychological so you can actually implement these things. So without any further ado, I'm going to stop rambling about him and I'm going to introduce you to him. Let me bring him here into the room for everyone. There he is. Hey, hey Jessa, how are you doing? I'm good. It's, it's I'm so good. excited to introduce you to everybody. So I'm yeah. going to be for just a minute and I'm going to let you introduce yourself, tell everybody about what it is you're trying to to help everybody with and the movement that you're creating for your, your people as well. Well, just just first to say thank you uh, for having me here. It's such an honor to be with you. Um, your your level of generosity has uh, never ceased to amaze me. And we've been working together, I don't know how long, no, three and a half months, two months. Uh, it's just been wonderful what you've been able to contribute, um, the compassion that you feel for people and uh, just making sure that we're offering products and services that really connect deeply to what it is that people want and need. And I'm a testimony <laughs> of your generosity and compassion. So just thank you so much for having thank me here. So it's an honor to be on with you. Uh, as Jessica said, my name is Alubade. I am on a mission to serve and connect visionaries and creatives all over the world so that we expand massively together. And my work has been for the last 25 years working with visionaries and creatives and empowering them in such a way that they're delivering their gifts and talents into the world in a way that uh, maintains their health and well-being, their financial health and well-being, their emotional health and well-being, and their physical health and well-being, for often they're not in environments that support that. And so this has been my mission. And my bold promise is that uh, my work with them is an experience in the magic of blooming. And oh, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I want to say a little bit about the magic of blooming, as just alluded to. Um, you know why I made that promise so boldly is because we are uh, at Bloom. We're working with the five elements of nature and using them as metaphors to take a look at how can we really put ourselves in environments and in ecosystems that really uh, create massive expansion and blooming, as I call it. And these five elements are the elements of mineral. Are the elements of nature, sometimes called air, the element fire, the element water, and the element of earth. 
without those five elements, nothing grows. So what we're about to share with you today, as Jessa said, is the five bold moves, each a complement of one of those five elements that if you do them, and just you're saying that you can do them on a daily basis. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys all. So, Alu has these five bold moves that he was talking about in this training that I was telling you about. Like, you know, just pick one and go bold on this one thing. And, and then he explains exactly how that is going to change things for you and for the people around you so that you can be seen and heard and grow at the same time. And it's incredible. So what I would love to do, Olu, is walk them through these five bold moves. And I see here we have a lot of my people and a lot of your people. So let's mm -hmm. kind of share the language. So if you were to go first and explain that first bold move and your language, and then I can kind of translate it and give ideas for my people as far as like how I actually go and use that bold move on a daily basis. Well, the first bold move, we always start with the element of mineral. That's the seed element. Um, that's the element um, that wakes up our ability to hear ourselves, our purpose in life, and what we're here to do in the world. And the symbol for that is bones. What's, how is your bones? What's your bones speaking? What are you really saying in the deepest part of you? So mineral is a metaphor for your ability to listen to your bones and listen to your spirit to see what's next for you. It's also the element that allows you to connect deeply to your vision, the, the gift and the purpose that you're here in the world to deliver. And so mineral is that metaphor. So the first bold move is a move that causes you to listen deeply for your own sense of vision, mission, purpose and your next uh, right move. You know, what mm -hmm. is the next right move for you? And um, I'm sure just you have kind of, uh, you're operationalizing that for us in a way to give us mm -hmm. what exactly can we do. So yeah. again, before uh, Jessa starts breaking it down, it's a move that causes you to listen, to hear your vision, your mission, and your next right move. Yes. And that's amazing. It's a great first step. It's the first one I do every morning, actually, because mm -hmm. sitting there and listening to yourself is something that a lot of people don't do intentionally. I mean, some people do, yes, but actually say, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to listen to myself because I have the answers. I am the source of any any anything that I need. Mm -hmm. So what I do with this, with this one, when I heard this one, I immediately went to my actual foundation for my business and my lifestyle which are two pillars really, empathy and ingenuity. And you can't really put these two things together without listening to yourself and really sitting with that, that source of inspiration. And so for me, I journal, I do, I, a lot of you already know, I do what I call um, subconscious requests and dream dumping to really get everything that's inside of me out, whether it's in symbols or words or images. I really sit and I try to listen to myself first thing in the morning and right before I go to bed. A lot of times my handwriting is not very good, so I might not know what I said, but it's the practice of it so that my, my actual physical reaction to my own ideas is very different. I actually make moves faster. I do things stronger and more boldly, more often, right off the cuff, simply because I practice listening to myself and I practice trusting myself and knowing what my next step is going to be. So journaling is definitely one of those things. And having a sounding board is a really good idea, too. If you don't have a coach, get a pet or something. Mm -hmm. Say it out loud as often as you can. Listen to yourself with your full being, including your your. 2D, 3D senses as well. Wow. That's excellent. You know, um, just the thing about these bold moves is that they're so simple because mm -hmm. uh, I noticed you sent out the, the in the shout out for the group, you said, um, these are so simple. They're not necessarily the things that are going to scare you. you yeah, know? when we say bold moves, people yeah. are like, oh gosh, what am I going to have to do? How far mm -hmm. outside of my comfort zone am I going to have to be? And I will say, if it is a little bit uncomfortable, it's going to be more effective. But if it's really uncomfortable, it's not going to work for you because it's not going to feel authentic to you yeah. or the person receiving it either. Yeah, and I think part of the thing with bold moves is that if they're taking you outside of a sense of your own well-being, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it really is not a bold move. It's more like an ego trip. <laughs> yeah, that's how I'm do. <laughs> um, you want me to go on to the second one? Yes, the second one I really love. I really love this one. So the second one is a move that declares your mission, 
intention or goal to others, uh, to others to whom you're willing to be held accountable. And um, I just want to give you guys the metaphor behind all of this. And this is the element of nature. Some people call it air. It's important that once you have listened to your next right move and you've gotten in touch with your big, uh, we call it our BIG in, in my group, your big impossible goal. Uh, one of the things I offer to members of that group is that you then go out there and you declare it into the environment because nature, uh, air, that element is all about media. It's all about making that connection of the airwaves. So you're sending your message out on the airwaves. And so that act of declaring it, uh, this is not the part where you're looking for feedback or exchange or somebody to come and say, no, you can't do that. This is the message of powerfully declaring it. In my group, I declare that by the end of the year, there'll be 50,000 members in that group participating with the philosophy of blooming. <laughs> <laughs> no, am I waiting for people to agree with me? No, I'm putting it out there and I'm making that declaration boldly and I'm willing We're to not be accountable permission. for that. So I that's uh, that's kind of bold, ain't you, so? <laughs> uh, Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's really bold. Um, but I think that once we have done that first bold move of really sitting and listening, it's not scary. It's, it's a little nerve wracking, like, here I go. I'm doing no, there's no turning back now but it's not scary, which I really appreciate. And we're not asking permission. That's what kind of, uh, that's the, the framing of this one that I really like because it is scary to ask for permission because somebody might say no, but we're not doing that here. We're saying this is it. This is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, so uh, what that looks like on a daily basis for me on a regular basis is to get clear with folk that, yep, uh, this group is about massive expansion. You're going to be expanding massively. You personally are going to expand massively. Your business and your enterprises are going to expand massively. And what that looks for me is a specific measurable by a particular time. Right, yeah. Yeah, and, and I keep bringing myself back to that and making sure that my actions are aligning with that. And this is, again, just as we're saying here, this is not the uh, request for approval, <laughs> you know, for someone to agree with you. You're actually, covering an element, yeah, you're actually just covering an elemental phase. You know what I'm saying? There are five elements, and when you combine them all together, you're going to find uh, uh, momentum begins to pick up. So I would say that's the second one. Yeah, definitely. I think that's great. And for me, in the way that it fits into my system, and this is where it actually fits very nicely into my cycle that I tell everybody about okay. when we're talking about growth and conversion and exposure and then inspiration. So we're just, we've already hit inspiration. And this is, this is the one where I implement this for growth. Okay. I grow my collective. I grow my, my circle. I grow my message by declaring. And the fact that I was brave enough to declare very early on, just over a year ago, I'm changing the paradigm, I'm making it right, making it fair, making it beautiful the way it needs to be. Just simply declaring that put, my, put me on the map. If I was just a business coach helping people build businesses without having any sort of declaration, I don't think that I would have any of this. So this second step I can say is one that will move you very, very quickly very it's you're going to give something to somebody who then will give it to somebody else who will give it mm -hmm. to somebody else and that comes down to very strong messaging mm -hmm. if you have a strong message then it's very easy to share it it's easy mm -hmm. to declare if you have good messaging so i want everybody to take a look at their message if you have a strong usp you really know who your niche is but your message is different every time you say it or are you not even entirely sure what to say when somebody says, hey, introduce yourself to my people, then we need to work on that because this step yeah. is very difficult without clarity. You wanna have that. That is so awesome, Jessica, because I'm in my group today with my collective working on messaging. You are um, just guesting with them and thank you so much for doing that because <laughs> when you worked with me to get my USP clear, you know, uh, when you introduced me and I said, my name is Alubade, I'm on a mission to serve and connect visionaries and creatives. Um, it gave me a safe space to be because it, it went clunk in my spirit. And so it's not something I'm making up. Right. It's who I am. So it resonates with me so I can effortlessly say it. And the logic of uh, being on a mission to serve and connect visionary and creatives globally is that 50,000 people 
in the group is a no-brainer. If it's global, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so there's there's a logic that flows in the messaging uh, that um, is important, and the sharper you can get it, I hope uh, you guys have been working with Jesse to sharpen your message. It's absolutely important. Um, in fact, in our collective, as we're moving forward, uh, you know, we just got to nail the messaging. So we have a goal that by next Monday, Jesse, everybody's messaging is going right. to be clear because we can build a platform on that. Do you want me to go on to the third? Yes, let's do that. Yeah, so the third one, so we've gone through mineral, we've gone through nature, uh, mineral being listening, uh, nature being the clearing on the wind, uh, mm -hmm. your, uh, your goal, your goal, intention. Uh, the third one is fire. And that is a move that creates visibility for you and your enterprise or cause. Now, this is not just visibility for you. I mean, I've done a lot of visibility where I've worn shades on the beach and all this kind of fabulous thing. And, you know, that's one kind of exposure. And we're talking about fire now, allowing yourself to be seen. But what you want to do right up there as you're creating that visibility for yourself, you want to also make it in tandem with the cause or enterprise uh, that you're here to represent. And so at that point, you're putting yourself pretty much on the auction block. You're allowing eyes to see. You're allowing yourself to face the fire. And for people to now make the assessment, they are not going to, <laughs> they're not going to bid on your value. <laughs> and so this is a fire. So um, just I'll leave it to you to break that one down. But um, this is where a lot of people balk and you yeah. want to make yourself visible. And, be yeah. seen, and then people are going to poke and say, hmm, let me see, if, is that really worth it? And so yeah. that's the next bold move. This is where you mind. allow people to pass judgment and what they, they come back to you with really needs to not matter one way or another. Because if they like you, yay, let's celebrate. That's not a good idea. If they don't like you, oh, no, let's wallow in it. No, we don't want to do any of that. We don't want to have extreme reactions to doing this bold move. That way it's easier to do. It hurts a lot less if you don't allow yourself extremes in this one. Yeah. And this one, anybody who's been in my, in my realm for more than, I don't know, a day knows that exposure is a really big part of my own business cycle. It's a part of how I grow my group. It's a part of how I grow my collective. It's just a part of how I built this whole thing is by being brave enough to go and give and show up. I know that if I'm in a lull in my business or if I'm like, hey, you know what, I want a new client. If I show up and just be and give my truth, my authenticity, mm -hmm. I know I'm gonna be a client within a couple of days, probably 48. 30, you know, 36 hours, because I know how to give, I know how to show up, I know mm -hmm. how to actually expose what it is that I have and still protect myself at the same time, but still give that what fact mm -hmm. that, wow, how? <laughs> what is she doing? How does she do that? I do that by giving and with mm -hmm. gratitude. Mm -hmm. with gratitude. Every time you guys mm -hmm. see my face here in Facebook world, you know I'm giving you something of absolute value. This right here today, this is a game changer for all of you. And I'm giving mm -hmm. it away. I'm actually giving. And that's one thing that a lot of people, especially in the coaching wellness world, kind of have a hard time finding a balance with is how do I give and give and give the way it looks like you are and not end up giving it all away, not being able to make any money. And so this is one part where when we're exposing ourselves, we want to make sure we're putting on the right hats. And that's really the trick to it. When I'm giving, I'm educating. I'm mm -hmm. educating. Mm -hmm. But when I am doing something that somebody is paying for, I'm coaching. I'm mentoring. There's a difference. I have my coach hat and I have my educator hat. And when mm -hmm. I'm giving like this, I can give all this away for days because it's a collective sense. It's not really something that is fine-tuned just for you and when people are ready to have this entire system fine-tuned just for them the way that you are Olu then that's where I can actually make my money mm -hmm. rather than giving it all away and away and away and away so if, mm -hmm. let's say you're a Reiki healer and you're like I give so much I give free sessions all the time okay so stop giving the free sessions and start giving more education this way you are not just giving it all away we're actually inspiring people to go deeper mm -hmm. either by themselves or with your help. And it doesn't matter which way. Again, don't be attached to the outcome. Don't mm -hmm. be attached to what people think of you because that's a roller coaster that's going to burn you out because some people are going to love you and some people aren't. I have 
haters. And it's okay, I don't care, because mm -hmm. I'm their opinion is not my responsibility. And but it is my responsibility to show mm -hmm. up. Really yeah, I I, th I think that's beautifully said, Jessa. Um, what's been so helpful for me um, in this area of facing the fire is uh, your sharing of the 10 emotional triggers. Mm, yeah. uh, because I think once you take care of people and you get in advance of the triggers, there's that's an act of generosity. You know, yeah. it's not an act of manipulation um, that you educate people about what you're doing and then you come from generosity. Uh, but it's also mm -hmm. important that at the same time you give them levels of engagement. You know, that's also taking care of them. So you at one level at the base camp, you're giving it away as much as you can. Then at another level, it's another level of engagement. That's actually taking care of people, qualifying mm -hmm. yourself about who you are and making sure that people are clear, uh, you know, or what qualifies you to do this, being able mm -hmm. to offer testimonials, uh, mm -hmm. being able to let people know uh, that you do feel their pain. That's all uh, coming from generosity. Yeah. And so that's overall framing. But again, in this area, I, uh, I just wanted to point out that what we're talking about here is making sure that the 10 psychological triggers are, are taken care of. As much as you're making yourself visible, you're also mm -hmm. making sure that you're taking care of yourself in the fire and you're yeah. taking care of other people as well because the fire is hot. It's hot. It's hot in here, guys. <laughs> well, yeah, on that note, I will, uh, I'll put the link to mm -hmm. the, the 10 psychological triggers in yeah. the comments here for everybody for the replay. I know most of these people, I know Lorelai and Paula, you guys, Helen, all of you really do already know mm -hmm. all these triggers. You probably have them memorized by now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, for everybody watching the replay. Hmm. Uh, just, just you want me to go on to the fourth one? Yes, number four. Yeah, so the fourth uh, bold move is uh, water. So we've been through mineral, nature slash air, fire, uh, water. Water is a move that connects you compassionately with the people that you serve. And uh, this, this one is more subtle. You know, water can be very subtle. It's, it's, a, it's an element of connection. And so what that suggests here is that anything that puts us in a in profound connection with others is a bold move. And um, I find right now, as I'm working one-on-one -on -one in the collective space, it's also about constantly asking ourselves, who are we serving and why? And what are they feeling? You know, uh, it's a daily process of retooling because so often we get impressed by the talent. We get in, uh, impressed by, you know, oh, this product is so unique and it's going to be uh, the next best thing from size bread, but then nothing goes. Mm -hmm. That's because um, often we lose sight of who we're serving and, uh, and empathy. And so, uh, Jessa, this has been really so big with you. It's made quite an impression on me uh, because so long I've been working here, uh, but the success that I've met with recently really comes from uh, just deepening my connection to why I'm doing this, who am I doing it for, and what are they feeling at any given point in time. And from that empathy is going to come the ingenuity. So again, the fourth bold move in water is anything that connects you deeply, empathetically, and compassionately with the people that we say we're serving. Yeah. Yeah. This one is actually very easy to do accidentally throughout the day as I'm running my business, simply because I know my people. I mm -hmm. understand my people. I am my people. I serve my people. And I know what motivates them. I did mm -hmm. a master class a couple of weeks ago about motivators and how that really connects us. Because a lot of people, a lot of business coaches and marketing people will tell you, you know, speak to the pain points and then just get straight to the, the features and benefits and you're good to go. And when you have a transformational business, like the ones that we all have, it's different. It's a whole new ball game. We want to... Create a story. And I said this actually in um, the session with you and your collective the other day. I was like, you know what? I should write that down. We want to create a story that is so compelling for the people that we want to serve that those people want to become a part of that story. They want to become a character in this story around your business and your purpose and your mission. And the way that we want to do that is to really connect with them. So if we want to connect and what we're still an entrepreneur, we're a brand, we're legitimate, but we still want to connect, how do we do that? How do we balance this? How do we cross that bridge in a way that's really not going to make people feel like, oh wait, what are you doing? Or 
uh, I don't know, do, can I reach out to Jessa? I don't know. All of you know, you can message me anytime. And it's by actually sitting with your people and giving, just like we did in the last step. The more you give, the more your people are going to give you an inspiration and say, this is what I need because you're available to them. So simply being available as a person who's making changes. If you are changing a paradigm, the more available you are to the people you're changing it for, the easier this one is gonna be for you because it's just part of who you are and how you actually approach everybody that you're, you're trying to help. Just be available. And that is one thing that I see a lot of bigger brands or bigger names and faces really not getting right. They're like, oh, I'm big now. I don't have to worry. I don't have to yeah. take phone calls. I don't have to do this. I just get in my calendar, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. But being available to the people that you're trying to help is going to let them know that you genuinely care. Because the last yeah. thing that you want to do is offer something to people that they don't need. Because a lot of people will say, oh, I see that coach over there has these packages. They've all got a 30-day, a 60-day, and a 90-day package. I guess that's what I'm going to offer. Well, it's not going to work for you nearly as well as if you sit with your people and see what they need. What do you do? You need a 30-day package? Great. But well, let's meet every day for 30 days instead of once a week because I know that that's what people need. Or, you know, some people are like, no, I don't well, I don't have 90 days to do this. I need to get this done now. I'm not going to offer a 90 day package to people who need something done right now. But I know this because I'm bold and brave enough to put myself out there. I definitely get a lot of exposure. I do a lot of lives. I do a lot of educating. But I do also have a lot of time where I just sit with my people. What do you need? I'll message people. How's it going? Uh, you know, I'll just, I know what's going on with most of my people. I know that one of my, one of my people just landed in Bali. Hey, did you, did you land well? Are you situated? How's it going? That kind of thing. Be a real person, not just a brand, not just a coach, not just a business. You're a real person trying to create real change for real people. So keep it real. And that's wow. really one of the yeah. way to do it. You might see me scribbling here. I'm taking notes as you're talking. <laughs> um, very, 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 very important. You know, and in the uh, in the social media environment, just uh, it can be intimidating to show up as a real person because we have so many ideas um, given from other forms of media that tells us how exactly we should show up, what we can reveal, what we can't reveal, what aspects of our humanity mm -hmm. needs to remain cloaked. So absolutely essential. Um, I'm gonna move on to the fifth yep. one and the final one. So we have looked at mineral, the point at which uh, the bold move there is to listen. We have looked at nature, air, and uh, the bold move there is to declare. We have looked at fire. And the bold move there is to expose yourself in tandem with your cause and your enterprise. And now we have looked at water. Uh, the bold move there is to connect, empathize, and be compassionate and authentic uh, in, uh, in our availability for each other. And the final one is earth. And we love this one. <laughs> so uh, it's a move that involves confronting the facts. And in so doing, restores order, productivity, integrity to your home, organization, workplace, or community. And I'm gonna say that again. It's a bold move that involves confronting or facing the facts, and in so doing, restores order, productivity, and integrity to your home, organization, workplace, or community. And Earth is always about the bottom line. It's, it's that place of safety and security where everyone is taken care of. And uh, we can't be, feel taken care of if we're, if we're ignoring the reality of what's going on around us, you know? So, yeah, so this is where you look at the report. This is where you look at the stats. This is where you find out how much money you have in the bank. This is where uh, you are authentic and truthful with the people around you about how you're feeling, the facts of it, um, what's going on here. And can you say those facts as a facts without having to blame anybody for anything? And so it's a confrontation. It's an embracing of the facts of life. And... Um, it's 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 a bottom line move. In fact, I would say, you know, many times uh, the bold move is to start here. Yeah, you and know? that's yeah. yeah, and then figure out okay, these are my facts, and now mm -hmm. now what? Is to do that, and I will say that this one mm -hmm. is a scary one, especially for people who are starting something new mm -hmm. or struggling. You know, that sort of thing. The last thing they want to do is sit with what's in their bank account and be like, okay, but these are my facts. But I will say if you really hold yourself to the fire like that 
And on a regular basis, daily basis, these are my facts, these are the facts, these are the facts. The easier and faster those facts are going to actually change for the better. Mm -hmm. If you're constantly looking at them and use them as a motivator, if prosperity and security motivate you, then the, this step right here is what's going to keep you going forward. It's going to be like that, that hand saying, no, you cannot step backwards. You cannot go past this. You have to keep going forward. Mm -hmm. And if you keep tabs on the facts and not on blame or circumstances or, well, yeah, I only have $300 in my bank account, mm -hmm. but it's because X, Y, Z, then you're not going to do it. So if you're going to do this bold move and you're going to do it well, if there's a but or a well, you know, or because then you're not doing it right. The facts are the mm -hmm. facts are the facts. Gravity is gravity is gravity. You can't change that. If you want, you can add things like that to this list of facts for yourself. You can't change gravity, no, but you can change your bank account. So let's sit with that inspiration, way to really declare what we want to do with that inspiration, talk about it, expose, give, and really have a sense of self in it and then really sit with the people that are going to be part of that change and that's the cycle every single day i have found a way to do each one of these bold moves at least once every single day and i will tell you it's game changing absolutely my confidence my ability to even my foresight is incredible, Olu, in the last like three weeks. I can see the 60, 60 to 90 days out, I see a potential crisis out there. Uh -huh. This is potential, probably not gonna happen, but 90 days away from it now, I'm actually planning on how I'm gonna tackle that potential crisis. I can see it because I do these every single day and these facts are really where it's at. And I don't say, Oh, there's a potential crisis over there because you know maybe that person's not really going to be reliable and i don't know what's going on that's not how it works the mm -hmm. fact is there's a little dinghy out there that's going to have to be taken care of at one point or another let's just do it now so that we don't have to worry about it then my foresight has become so strong that i have so much less anxiety so much less financial anxiety so much less anxiety like planning like for you know, like you're visiting and i'm like i know i can take a couple days off we're going to hang out on the beach because I can see far enough ahead and see what's going on and being like, all right, I'll just start this client on the next, the next day and really plan for not having to plan. And that's really exciting because the facts are telling me, you know what? You're good. You're fine. Go chill, go to the beach, hang out, have a drink. And then it's just, it's incredible. So this one, I would say definitely we should put it at the top. Oh, did he freeze? Did I freeze? Can anybody see me? Am I frozen too? Let's see here. Maybe he'll come back in. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess he, I guess he got kicked off. Okay, so that was good timing, I guess. Maybe he still has the link. He might come back in. Olu, if you're there, you can still click on that link for me, and you can come back in. But that was good timing, at least. We got through all five of them in about half an hour. So nice. So those are the bold moves that I use every day. Um, and I highly recommend you write them down. And I did promise you guys one more little treat. Every time I get a new journal, I like to share my new journaling techniques with you, my abundance techniques with you. So what I did was I got this journal, super basic, super simple, but it's one of those reusable ones. So I can, it's like marker board paper almost, but not. So I can just erase it, start over. So I have templates now in it. So I just, in the morning, I definitely do my dream dumping that I told you guys about a couple of months ago. In the evening, I still do my subconscious requests, still really intensely creepy sometimes, but very effective. I learn a lot by listening to myself that way. That's that bold move number one is really, really listening to myself. But then what I added to all of this, of, of course, you know, my gratitude and things I wanna do better tomorrow, you know, these sorts of things that have always been in my journal. But now for my morning journaling, I have at the very bottom, what are my bold moves going to be? And I have just, I just have the numbers, one, two, three, four, five. And I actually go and I meditate on which of these bold moves is going to be most important for me today and how am I going to do each of them? And they're very, very simple things. Like number one, I make sure I journal. I make sure that I do all of it, my morning and my evening one. If I do that, I know I'm listening to myself. 
intentionally. Therefore, when I'm not intentionally listening to myself, but an idea just pops into my head, I am in the practice of trusting myself and going boldly with that new idea and testing it out. And I'm okay with testing. I'm okay with things failing. I tested like three things this week that were complete flops, but now I know they don't work. So I'll do something different. But we want to we want to move forward quickly and boldly, and that means trusting your intuition. Even if it's wrong, you're, you're, you just need to keep moving. So we want to fail fast, and the faster you learn to trust yourself and your own intuition, the faster we're going to fail, and we want to do that. Failing fast gets us to that solution that we're really going to be needing and using as well. And I just go through my entire journaling day with that. And that's really, really important. So I will say of all of these five moves, if you're still building something, if you're still gaining clarity on what it is that you're doing, offering, changing, being, creating, whatever, if you're still kind of unclear about that, number one, let's figure that out. And uh, number two, while we're still figuring that out, we want to, of course, not be declaring things or exposing things that we aren't clear about. Because if we're not clear, everybody's just going to be like, what? I don't get it. So let's hold off on the other ones. But the, the first bold move and the last bold move. Really listen to yourself so that we can get that clarity and really sit with the facts of your life. The facts of your life and your reality as they are in any given moment. And I feel like if we sit with these two, the rest of that sandwich is going to come together really nicely for you. But I suggest you keep them regularly for yourself as well. Do these bold moves. And these are more mostly internal bold moves. We're not exposing anything just yet with just these two. The, the book ends of the bold moves. But sit with these two specifically, especially if you're feeling unsure, if you're feeling unclear, if you're feeling like, do I need to pivot? I don't know what to do. Okay, I feel like this is what I want to have, but how do I do it? If we're really struggling with these things. Let's sit with those two things. Sit with your intuition, listen to yourself, and really grasp the facts, even if you don't like them right now. Because the more you appreciate the facts for what they are and not what whose fault they are or anything like that, the faster that fact is going to change and really bring people back in. Oh, Olu is back. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes, right. I, I, I'm back on my phone. I've been traveling around, so my computer I was out of use, uh -huh. and I, I really did not. Uh, <laughs> that happens Please to me. me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm That's glad I caught you back at the tail, and I'm sure you were kind of recapping. Yeah, I was work? recapping. I talked about my journal and how I have the, the five bold moves. Yes. And I was also, for the people listening who are new to either your or my tribe and are still kind of building something, yes. deciding yeah. or getting that clarity for themselves, I said that um, of the five bold moves, you really can't mm -hmm. go out and declare things and show up in that if you don't have something to declare just yet so we're working on the people working on yeah. that clarity in terms of yeah. clarity for them. of yeah. the five yeah. moves the bookends are going to be the ones that they're going to want to sit with sit with your mm -hmm. intuition so you can work on getting that clarity and sit with the facts of your life so that you can mm -hmm. change them with your intuition so we're going to just like use these two as knobs at the end yeah. while yeah. we're working yeah. on the, the meat and potatoes in the middle with the other three bold moves mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I would say this, though, um, and this is one of the things that I wanted to make sure I caught you before uh, I went off here. They are an ecosystem. And so if you think of them as uh, each element complements the other, yeah. you know, too much exposure, not enough connection, you know what that means, um, okay? <laughs> um, you know, too much uh, listening and yeah, but not enough face in the facts. Because uh, very often when we're listening, we're, that's one thing, but then we always have to ground in the facts. Mm -hmm. So one of the uh, recommendations I have is that we treat it as an entire ecosystem. And so we want to be playing with it at whatever level uh, of engagement you are with each of them. Some, sometimes folk are not going to hear they're big, you know, something they're going to hear they're big as a tiny project, which mm -hmm. that's fine. But then you can also declare that to the people in your environment. You can allow mm -hmm. yourself to be exposed around it as well. So at whatever level you are, the whole idea is to be able to treat each of these five bold moves of each of these five elemental areas as an entire ecosystem mm -hmm. for, for one's well-being. Yeah. Right. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I really, I love the bold moves so much. <laughs> it's really <laughs> Kenny's like, you're with a journal again. What's going on? I miss you. 
but it's really amazing. And I was honored to be, uh, I still am honored to be part of um, the team that you have helping you move this forward and get this out to everybody. And you have a lot more. This is just one of his trainings that he's done, everyone. Mm -hmm. So definitely join his group. There is a lot there. In particular, I will say for those of you who feel like you're kind of in that spot where you need to figure out what it is that you want to declare, mm -hmm. how you want to do it, what is it going to look like. If you are in that spot, you're like, I'm energized. I know I got something. I got something. I've been thinking about it for years and it's time. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Do a lose boot camp to find out your B.I.G., your big impossible yeah. goal. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I mean, even I, I did it and I already know what my goals are. I'm changing the paradigm. I'm making help accessible to anybody everywhere, regardless of their financial circumstances, not just business coaching, all mm -hmm. help mm -hmm. to all people. Mm -hmm. That's a big impossible goal. But you and your bootcamp helps me frame it in a way that made it feel so much closer. Mm -hmm. Than it was because I was like, yeah, that's big and it's impossible, and I really scare myself every time I say it. Mm -hmm. And now I say, and I'm like, actually, I am already doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm already mm -hmm. in the 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 process, the movement, the the flow of it. And all I have to do is keep doing and stay mm -hmm. focused with my bold moves every day, and I'm good. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Just to thank you for that um that that shout out there. Um, the first book camp is about making that alignment between your vision your talents and passions and and knitting that together into a gift for others and that is so incredibly important to make sure that there is an alignment and again that it's not just your passions and your talents okay sure the things you can be passionate and feel that you're talented in that but why who are you yeah. here to serve and what are how can you bring all of those passions and talents away as a gift to others, uh, to as many people as possible, and that's your big. And I promise you, if you do the first, just the first boot camp, you'll never again be in doubt about what your mission. You know, all of that stuff. Um, it's yeah. handled in that in that first boot camp. I'd say it's amazing, yeah. and it's simple. He doesn't complicate things. <laughs> it's really just it feels right and grounded. It's really awesome. And uh, Paula, the link to his group, I believe, is in the description here, and I can yeah. put a link as well. But yeah, yeah. Uh, it's. Together Strong is the name of it. Mm -hmm. Stronger Together. Is it Together Strong? Together yeah. Strong. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'll also make sure I share this with my group as well so um, mm -hmm. they can get uh, some of your wisdom as well, Jessa. So yeah, appreciate it. I'll be sure to give you the again. link to the yeah. psychological triggers that you mentioned. Absolutely. So very useful. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Wow. Well, it was an honor doing this with you. I love collaborating and with you. It's just so much fun. So when you come to the island, we should do a collaboration in the same yeah, room. Yeah, I'm there on the 15th. That would be so fun. I love when clients visit. Again, again, thank you, Jessa. I'm really, really honored. And sorry about the breakdown of being away for a while no here. But we made it work. Made it work. Yeah. The beauty is still there. Yes, right. absolutely. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. All right, everybody. If you yes. have questions, you know where to find us. We are available to you. Message us and let us know where you're stuck. Because if you're stuck, that means that there's a conversation that needs to be had. And it can be just that simple. All right? So reach out. All right, guys. Awesome. We'll Take see you care. all soon. Yeah. Bye. Blessings.